it happening. What's up, Money Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at ticket symbol MRNA, Moderna. It's a pharmaceutical company and it's actually engaged in the development of a vaccine for COVID-19. So I did a video in the past talking about my top five uh, companies to watch or pharmaceutical companies to watch um, that are actually in the process of developing a vaccine or uh, creating a test for the coronavirus. So I'm gonna hook that video up here so you can definitely go check it out as of yesterday moderna actually you know kind of put out some really good news that their vaccine is actually moving from phase one to phase two that uh, the fda has actually approved phase two trier of the vaccine which is an excellent news um but just be very very cautious here that um to develop a vaccine to the point where it can actually be effective usually takes a long amount of time so if if, if moderna can actually nail this at their first pass that would be excellent so um, what does that mean for you and me? It means that if they can come up with this vaccine um, as soon as possible, it means all, all these millions of people that don't have jobs right now would be going back to work because you know that you can get a vaccine that will either protect you from, from, the, from the virus, which is awesome. So the question is, um, now that is, they're actually talking about is, what do we do as investors? Is it a good time to buy or, or, or just wait and see where this goes? Because what if the uh, phase two trial fails? what happens um so most analysts on Wall street have actually upgraded the stock uh, the price target was 35 dollars, and now they've moved that to 58 dollars. and as of today when i was actually recording the video uh, they were trading at 58 dollars and some change which is crazy so um imagine that if let's say in the next two or three months or four they came out and said, hey, phase two, is, it's awesome and we're, we're ready to start distributing. I'm assuming the price of this stock is gonna skyrocket. It's gonna go off the charts. And then you're probably gonna sit there and kick yourself and be like, why didn't I invest when it was $58? So, but at the, on the flip side, if they come out and say phase two of the of the vaccine trial completely flopped, it didn't work at all, the price is gonna go down. Then you're gonna probably kick yourself again, like why did I invest in this stock? So um, it, I would say for a stock like this, you can, when you invest in, in, in a stock like this, um, I want you to use what we call a stop loss. So if you buy this stock today at say $58, uh, you can set your stop loss to say $50 just in case, right? So if anything would happen, they have to get some bad news and the price drops then you you only stand to, to, to like lose like eight bucks a share so if you set a stop loss then you can never hold your head and be like oh my goodness what just happened and so that would be a, a better way so um right now i am still watching on the sideline i don't have moderna just for transparency purposes i did trade it um and made some money that's about it i don't have it as a position but i'm actually seriously debating um if i should because again the price target has been upgraded to 58 dollars so so I might pick up a few shares just to just in case it goes up, but I'm definitely going to set my my stop loss to fifty dollars um, just in case because I don't want to lose any money um, beyond eight dollars a share. So if I buy it at fifty eight. I don't want to lose $50. So question of the day, what do you think about this new development? The CEO was actually um, on, on CNBC and saying that, hey, uh, where it stands right now, they're anticipating that the vaccine might cost about $4,000 a shot, which is crazy. And they plan on working with the government um, to distribute the vaccine if, if it turned out that it's a go. Um, so they're going to reach out to the government to determine who gets it um, and to prioritize uh, you now the distribution of the vaccine in the country because they don't have enough for everybody if the if the vaccine was proven to work, which is kind of scary. So um, the vaccine could be out there, but yet uh, you cannot lay your hands on them. I mean, does that ring a bell in any shape or form? Think about the test just for the virus, right? The COVID-19 test is not available to everybody. You cannot go to Walgreens and just buy you a test and use it. It's kind of a selective test for, for other people. So that is a, a scary thing. Um, just the price, uh, uh, again, for me as an investor, that's exciting. They're going to make a ton of money. If I buy into the company, I'm going to be fine. But um, just as, as a human being, uh, people that don't have the money for that, for the price of the vaccine to be looking somewhere between $4,000, that is scary. Not a lot of people have four thousand dollars sitting around. The government himself, or the government itself, is actually uh, giving out stimulus packages for 
to twelve hundred dollars. I mean, so so even if you took your stimulus package, twelve hundred dollars, you wouldn't be able to buy the vaccine. Isn't that insane? They're thinking about putting in another package out for two thousand dollars a month uh, for one year. Um, that's still in Congress. I might have to do a video about that. But um, I just, yeah, I just want to take a minute and think about it. Uh, as an investor, it's exciting that you can invest and potentially make some money. But uh, just as a human being, that price is ridiculous, in my opinion. And the company even says they don't have the capacity to manufacture enough to be able to help all the millions of people across the world that have uh, the virus. So. That is a crazy situation. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Um, do you think it's a buy or do you think it's like, hey, I'm just gonna pump the brakes and wait until they say they have the vaccine before I can definitely jump in and buy. And then, oh, you think like, what about the price? Do you think the price that's set for uh, or the anticipated price is something that makes you feel comfortable? Again, let me know in the comment section. And as always guys, like, share, subscribe. YouTube tells me that 90% of you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel. So if you can do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that when I post new videos, you get notified. And as always, stay motivated.